so <laughs> yep, here's our little collection of Southampton Reading songs yeah um, Sam you can talk about Reading season first try and preview it from August onwards for the whole season yeah how you've basically played well for half the season and managed to go yeah up. it's been a crazy roller coaster season yeah I mean yeah, it's weird because I remember yeah, in August when we played Barnsley yeah. and we had like three penalties and yeah. we only scored one of them and we lost 2-1 to Barnsley at home yeah. which is embarrassing yeah. Yeah. and yeah, I just thought oh we're going to yeah. just fight for relegation that's great yeah. but um, yeah then we went on a good run during the Christmas period beat West Ham 3-0 and then carried it into 2012 mm. and bought Jason Roberts and Hayden Munns and Lone and yeah oh, what's his name Thomas Thomas you... yeah midfielder I yeah. know who you mean yeah can't say his name yeah yeah <laughs> yeah um, Polish... Thomas Kuvka yeah Kuvka yeah, yeah Polish yeah. player yeah yeah, yeah. yeah Matthew so... Conley and so many yeah vital players yeah and just made the season yeah come true for us yeah, we just won all the big games. We just soaked all the pressure. How, how about your series of like final games? Because you were away at Southampton. Yeah, away to at Southampton, West Ham. West Ham home to we well, won it against. Who did you win it against? Home to Leeds, and then you were at home to. And we beat Nottingham Forest. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah Ledgewood yeah. scored the winning goal. Yeah, which so, I sadly missed. Yeah, but yeah. oh well, at least I saw the celebrations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just oh, it was amazing. Um, so close in the end. I was hoping from the Southampton point of view that we would have maybe clinched the league. Um, I was hoping we'd win definitely 5 0 on Saturday, so we'd have our biggest win of the season and biggest home win. So he ended up winning three home games 4 0 this season, beat Watford 4 0 at home, Derby 4 0, and obviously on Saturday, Coventry. Yeah, pretty good. So, yeah, so at least you've got loads of goal difference, but sadly, yeah, yeah we managed to get in front of you just by a point. Yeah. Where that? It's a phone noise. Um, oh dear. But yeah. But at least um, I think from the, from how many goals did Jason Roberts score he in the championship? In the six, end? I think. Six. Okay. Yeah. Because obviously he's only here for half a season. Yeah. Not but Ricky, bad. La- Ricky yeah. Lambert, amazing. I think can easily be like Grant Holt, previewing next year's yeah, Premier how League. Many, how many goals? Did he he got score? twenty-seven league goals. Wow. And the top scorer. He's been top scorer for the last four seasons in a row in the league yeah. that he's been in top scorer in League 1 two years in a row championship this season and the year before that he was top scorer in League 1 for Bristol Rovers so he was really? top scorer for Bristol Rovers in League 1 three seasons in a row top scorer and then That's top amazing. scorer in the championship and, yeah. so um, yeah and also I think he top scored with Rochdale in League 2 before he went to Bristol Rovers <laughs> so um, yeah yeah so anyway he goes Crazy. it's just a goal scoring machine yeah, yeah. So hopefully, he's 30, but he can be like Grant Holt. He's a bit older than Grant Holt, but he's yeah. a success. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, it's a shame, really. If, he, if Ricky Lambert was in the Premiership, mm. then maybe he might be mm. considered. Mm. Also, I'd like to thank the contribution of Adam Lallana as the season goes on. Yeah, and we've had a lot of good performances from Chapler, especially in the middle of the season, Schneidlin and Dean Hammond. Um, Steve Derrida hasn't quite made it how we'd hoped so we'll see where he goes in the summer but he's also made a good impact and obviously in defence Jos Hoivelt and Fonte getting his only goal of the season on Saturday when we beat Coventry hadn't yeah. scored until then <laughs> um, Billy Sharp's come in got nine goals for us now yeah, he's the done first well. one yeah. so um, and we've also got strikers that haven't played like Lee Barnard Connolly's been out for a while Tadanari Lee's broken his foot but he made a big impact when he came in um, I suppose Kevin Davis and goals and well. then Kelvin Davis has been very good um, hopefully he can perform better than he did for Sunderland in the Premier League but I think we will be getting in an extra keeper in this yeah it would yeah, be interesting to see mm. who Reading and Southampton by yeah. next season what are your thoughts if you're listening email radio at live.co.uk or if you're listening on your phone you can text 60300 mm. if you think that's quicker um, oh, I just wish we had do we, Wait, do we actually have the Big Bad Wolf song? No, we don't, oh, unfortunately I just want to play that Because it's like Jason Roberts' adopted song yeah. <laughs> They always play that when he mm. uh, Yeah, because I remember on Soccer AM They were saying, oh yeah, you're nicknamed Big Bad Wolf <laughs> Yeah, and there are so many games Which if we hadn't won Like we got three points at Leeds When we were under massive pressure And we shouldn't have beaten Leeds yeah. But we were, beat Leeds at home And beat them away 
we had a few other good games. We won, drew at Portsmouth, unlucky. Drew at Reading, that was a vital point in the end, the point we got at Reading. Yeah, because you had 10 men. And that so. was one of Steve Derrida's goals that he yeah, scored. Yeah, managed to get through there. So, um, yeah, it was a tight game, that one. Mm. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, I'm just happy we beat mm. West Ham. Yeah. Did a double over them. Yeah. And beat Leeds, beat Blackpool, beat yeah. Leicester. Mm. We beat you at Southampton, which, yeah. Is, yeah. which is lucky, really, because we only had three shots on goal. Yeah. We managed to soak up the pressure and defend yeah. for our lives. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we drew at um, Blackpool, sorry, we drew at home to Blackpool, lost at Blackpool. Against the biggest teams, we lost against Cardiff away. The biggest teams mm. we didn't do great against away. Yeah, did such you as, um, draw against West Ham? We drew at West Ham, but yeah. beat them at home. So oh, that at least that's, that's thing, something. Yeah. Um, and also... Birmingham we beat we drew with Birmingham we played at Birmingham in the snow that's our memory of playing oh, at Birmingham yeah, that's crazy nil nil game yeah. um, the start of February um, and we beat Birmingham at home at the start of the season when they weren't quite so good so we, we've won the games we needed to win we got a good home record yeah. and won a good group of away games but we also lost probably six seven or eight games um, which we could have done better in but I think overall. yeah it's like games where you think oh we should have won it, those if then, West Ham had won the home games they should have won we would have been third I know they, yeah. they if they didn't draw yeah. those like five yeah. games in a row yeah. they drew so, they would have won the league yeah so but that you can't look at it like that the final table is the final table yeah, it's, and that's what's done is finished. done so yeah. that's good yeah, yeah we won the games we needed to win so yeah and both our teams are up mm. so we look forward to the premiership next season and whoever wins the playoffs yeah. hopefully Blackpool so yeah just quickly to finish that <laughs> off actually I'm going to have a song we'll go over these predictions that you had for Easter but just before oh, we yeah. move on just have a song who is going to win the playoffs Blackpool, Birmingham West Ham or Cardiff who do you think so, well I think Blackpool will do it so I think West Ham will get to the final and yeah. Blackpool will beat them in the final yeah. hopefully because I don't know because I think West Ham sadly I'm saying this but <laughs> they got the better team but I think Blackpool good attacking team going forward so yeah. I think they could do it do you think they could do it or what or if, which team do you think would win the I playoffs? think I think Blackpool are going to win the playoffs Blackpool or Birmingham all oh, right so it depends who wins their semi final yeah. I think it'd be one of those two to win the playoffs Cardiff muck it up and West Ham won't win yeah so. I think it'll be Blackpool or Birmingham so we'll see whoever wins their tie I think it'll be that team that goes on yeah. Thanks for listening. We'll be back after this to go over Sam's last predictions of the season. Yeah.